Hello, Erica Jones here from Somerville Media Center, Director of Membership and Outreach. Happy to be back in the studios with more nonprofit community members here. And we are joined with the fabulous staff, some of the fabulous staff from Respond. We have Danielle and Amanda. Thank you for joining. Yes. Uh, we are going to learn a little bit more about what this organization does for our community and some upcoming events and just find out ways that you can help support their efforts. So. Amanda, what is RESPOND? So RESPOND is a domestic violence agency, one of the oldest in the United States. And we work with survivors of all backgrounds, um, both in Somerville and in the greater Massachusetts area, and really uh, around the world. We've had mm -hmm. people that we've worked with, especially being in an area where there's universities, mm -hmm. that people go back to their home country or back to their hometown, and we're the number that they know. Mm -hmm. So we serve anyone who wow. reaches out to us who's a survivor of domestic violence, um, regardless of their status, of their gender. Whoever you are, if you're a survivor of domestic violence, we can assist you in some way. Um, and some of the main programs that we have, we have a shelter program, we have community programming for folks who are not living in our shelter but need support. Shelter mm -hmm. space is limited, um, but that doesn't mean that other people don't need that support. Absolutely. Um, so we try and work with where folks can meet us, where we can meet them, and get them get them some support to figure out how they can be safer. Yeah. Um, we also have some high risk teams where we get to coordinate with the police and district attorney's office and other community partners to um, plan around keeping people safe and holding abusers accountable. Um, so we have a wide range of different things mm -hmm. that we do and are always a lot. flexing that based on what survivors ask of us so that we can try and get them what, the, what they need. Um, and we're, we're doing that 24 seven. We have our 24 hour hotline, which allows people to call us so that we can provide support and connect them with people in person as well. It's really impressive to think about it being um, an impactful organization beyond just Somerville and our bubble here and the reach that you're really accomplishing around the country, which is really impressive. I think a fact that people might not know about. Yeah, and we're glad to call Somerville our home, but our mm -hmm. reach definitely goes beyond as well. Yeah, great. And you have a lot of events and workshops and stuff that happen throughout the year. Do you want to talk about something that's coming up? Sure. Our open house is coming up on October 19th. Um, if you come to our community center in Union Square uh, from 4 to 7, you will get to learn about all the programs we offer. A lot of people that interact with us know of one of the things right. that Amanda mentioned. Right. We will have staffers from every team. You go room to room, there's a different staffer mm -hmm. in every room talking about a different subject. So, you know, community partners that only know our voice get to know who we are. And even people that need services learn what's out there. Mm -hmm. And we pride ourselves on really helping everyone. And um, it's a very cool thing to see how much is being done. Um, a lot of times we say we hide in plain sight. People don't realize all the programs mm -hmm. we do. Um, we do a lot. Yeah. <laughs> no, jam-packed. I'm yeah. sure you have, a, you have a pretty big staff too, I think, right? Mm. Maybe. <laughs> Moderate. <laughs> Under 50. A We're a small but okay. mighty staff. <laughs> yeah. Small staff, big impact. Exactly. Most right? definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and I know that um, Respond has been a recipient of different awards. Um, I've seen uh, the CEO, Jessica Braden, receiving those wonderful mm -hmm. on behalf of the organization. Just want to plug any of those? Sure. So most recently, we got a Cummings Center 100K for 100 uh, nonprofit grant. It was specifically to help with our housing assistance program. Mm -hmm. So that allowed us to hire a staffer that specifically works with people both in our shelter, but also community clients that need that extra help finding housing. Right. In addition to just the housing market being crazy, um, cost-wise, you put in the safety issue, and sometimes there's financial abuse people don't think of in DV. Right. That's a whole nother level. Right. Working with our yeah. housing staff are completely dedicated to that. Helps people get wow. to that next step. Great. Great. Well, thank you. Jam-packed information in yep. the short span of our video here. But um, you can learn more at their open house on October 19th. Come 19th. see us. <laughs> 4 to 7. Yes. Right over here in Union Square. Mm -hmm. 
and get some face time and um, are there any volunteer opportunities for people to oh, ever get Most involved? definitely. Okay. Head to our website Excellent. respondinc.org and there is a uh, link you can just click to find out about volunteering Wonderful. Um, and our 24-hour hotlines there as well if anybody ever needs that. All right, <laughs> great. Well, thank you for joining and of course, get out thanks there for having us. And support more of the wonderful nonprofits here in Somerville. Thank Take you. Care. Thank you. <laughs>